The Real Real and I are breaking up. It's sad. Hey guys, it's Dollar Dr. Jennifer and I'm here with a little bit of a Real Real update. I've been dealing with them for a while now, so, and I will throw in some screenshots of kind of what's been going on, but I am no longer going to be sending things to the Real Real, and I am also, uh, when my 90 days is up on the items, I'm going to be getting them back as well. Even though eventually they did make things right, it took like three months, and having to deal with this and the stress of dealing with this uh, it was really annoying. They did eventually come through though, so I can't ding them on that, but it took so long and it was so much aggravation. It's just not worth it in my life to do it. It's the, the payout there is not worth it. So if you're interested in something like that, this is what this video is going to be about. And so yeah, the real real and I are breaking up. <laughs> the relationship, at least for now, is going to be over. So let's go back a couple months. So the real real uh does take you know more designer stuff which i don't usually find a ton of very high-end items uh recently i have been finding some ties that are higher end but in general i don't mostly bread and butter and some nice dresses that sort of thing is what i normally find i do a lot of graphic t-shirts as you know and so what i was sending was lower dollar under a hundred dollars is what it was going to be listed for so for them that is your lowest payout and so at this point, I think initially I was getting, did it start at 40%? I want to feel like it started at 40% of what it sold for, but things weren't selling very high. So I wasn't getting huge payouts. I think I got like $6 for a pair of Kate Spade shoes, stuff like that. Uh, I'll try and throw up a couple, a couple pictures of so, some sold stuff if I can remember to do that in the editing. <laughs> but so the next step was they were like, well, we're going to decrease it to 30%. I think that's how it went. I was like, mm, okay, I'll still send kids items and maybe a few things that is just not selling for me, like Columbia. For some reason, Columbia doesn't sell for me. I don't know why, um, but it doesn't. So I did send a bunch of that in. And as I sent that in, they decreased it, I think again, and now it's like 20%, you get 20%, which is absolutely nothing. It's just, it's not worth it. I would rather get $10 on Poshmark. I would make more doing that, honestly, than selling some of the stuff that I was doing there. So um, all of that kind of gave me a bad taste in my mouth. So my last consignment, I sent 20, five items around there, something like that. And when I looked at the consignment, um, they had 21 items. I was like, well, that's wrong. I was like, well, maybe they're still processing whatever. I gave them some time. But then when I actually looked in the consignment itself, there were only 19 items listed. I think I sent 23 items. That's, I think that's what I did. I think I said 23. Anyway, so there's only 21 items listed or there's, it said 21. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> I sent 23 items. I sent a list with the consignment. I then saw that they had 21 items in the consignment. But if you actually counted the items in the consignment, there were only 19. So four items were missing. <laughs> it comes down to four items were missing. Uh, two were kids items, one were polo Ralph Lauren shorts, one were Hudson jeans that were kids, and then there were two fancy shirts, which I'll throw the pictures of those in here, um, which I had actually initially gotten on the real real. But anyway, that's, uh, that's not part of the story. So four items missing. This is in April. I gave it a little bit of time because, you know, their consignment, sometimes it can take a little bit longer. So I was like giving the benefit of the doubt, you know, maybe they just had to finish processing. So then, um, you know, things are starting to list, things are getting sent back to me that they didn't accept. And I'm like, okay, well, it's still only 19 items in there. Where are the other two that are supposedly there already? And then where are the other two that I did send that weren't even in the initial consignment already? So this is a little bit of a ranty video, so I'm sorry, <laughs> but 
I thought you guys should know what's been happening in my real, real life. So I started talking with my person. You know, you get you get assigned a person to help you with your consignments and whatnot. And I think I messaged her about it a couple times and she's always like, yeah, I'll look into it. Nothing ever happened. So after I think the beginning of June, uh, remember this started in April. So I think at the beginning of June, I finally gave up on her because she wasn't doing anything. And I went to their texting um, customer service. They don't have a phone number you can call. So that's one thing that I really don't like. I don't like talking on the phone either, but I would like to talk to a real person that actually understands what's going on via texting someone that I don't think is even in the country. Um, so I think I went through texting at least six times. Um, so I would say my problem, I would show them the th items that were lit that were missing, uh, go through the whole thing with someone, and then they'd be like, "Okay, give us four to five business days, and we'll we'll get it fixed." So that happened twice. The next week, I'm like, "Still not fixed," <laughs> and I'd have to go through the whole thing again via text. And finally, the third person was like, "Hey." I think they're in someone else's account. Here's a number and we'll get this done in four to five business days. Okay, cool. Like at least I have somewhat of an answer, but four to five business days comes and goes and another four to five business days comes and goes and nothing. So then I messaged again and then that person was super unhelpful and they were just like, you just have to be patient. It's, we're gonna put this at high priority. Give us another four to five business days. That's their keyword. Give us four to five business days. So you have to wait a whole nother week before you can talk to them, technically. Uh, so we went through that a couple times. Finally, I think it was like the six, it was at least six times. I was like, I need to speak to a manager, someone that has some sort of power uh, in this real, real universe. <laughs> And so they put me in touch with, um, still via text, not, not phone call, still via text. They put me in, in touch with someone. And um, I will say during the beginning of the, all this, they did give me a $25 site credit to use. So, and then, so when I finally talked to the manager, they're like, okay, I, you know, I've read through all your stuff. I kind of see what's going on. Uh, the, we will buy out your four items, they never said that they lost them. They still haven't said that they lost them, but they lost them. <laughs> and they're like, and you know, for your struggle, blah, 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 we'll give you a hundred dollar site credit. Okay, fine. Uh, I did buy some really cool stuff with it. I got some Diane, actually, I'll just show you that while we're on this because I haven't done a haul for that and I'll just do it here. But it's like, most of it I think is right next to me. I got a really cool Diane Von Furstenberg, size two, really fun wool pleated skirt. Um, this is for my $100 that I got from them. I also got a, I think this is vintage 90s or early 2000s. It's um, cheap and chick Mos Moschino. And it's this really cute, totally share from Clueless Vibes, houndstooth tweed, little skirt. It's peach and pink. And it's got this little heart button on the back. Really cute. I got, I think I already put it away. I got a Gucci like brush. It was a crepe brush, new in box. Uh, I got this. Diane Von Furstenberg, size two, wool silk blend, little snakeskin ombre skirt, really adorable. Uh, I did get another Diane Von Furstenberg top, which is back there, and then the brush, which I think I put away in a in a. So those are some of the things I got with the hundred dollars. So then, I waited again. 
and it's been a couple weeks now since that and I was like I still so I, I texted again uh, three days ago I think it was and they didn't even answer me on the text like it didn't the computer didn't kick on anything so I don't know if they blocked my number or I don't know what happened but today I finally got an email hey all about your you know blah 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 we are buying you out they lost them um, and then they also gave me another $50 on the site. So I haven't used it yet, but I should be getting like a hundred dollar payout from the four items that they didn't lose, <laughs> which I am very appreciative of because I probably honestly wouldn't have gotten that much otherwise, but for all the stress and like having to contact them every week for like months is just ridiculous. That is not good customer service. Uh, I've done, I mean, ThreadUp has done me wrong in a lot of ways, but their customer service has been a lot better than that. Uh, especially if you message ThreadUp on Facebook, that's the way to get in touch with them the best way. So anyway, that is the journey. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna buy anything else on there. I definitely won't be consigning. I think most of my stuff is around 60 to 70 something days. So I will be getting stuff back in about a week or two. Uh, I guess I have to contact my person about that. The real real and I are breaking up and it's, it's sad, but it's necessary at this point. I just, I can't deal with that. I don't need anything extra in my life like that right now. So that's what's been going on. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time again. <laughs> Thanks for listening and remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>